let us take one more example student uh, the question number 10 magnetic effect of electric current the question is a proton from cosmic rays enters a earth's magnetic field a proton from cosmic rays enters earth's magnetic field in a direction perpendicular to the field that means if the field is like this the proton enters perpendicular to this this is a proton which is positively charged enters perpendicular to the field if uh, velocity of the proton is if it is moving with the velocity of 2 10 to 7 meter per second and the magnetic field which is uh, earth magnetic field is vapor per meter square which is tesla find the force exerted on the proton by magnetic field this is a question so it's basically the solution is also very simple when a proton enters a magnetic field perpendicular to it so how, how much force it will experience because of the magnetic field we know that a moving charge experiences a magnetic force in a magnetic field then the formula for the force exerted on charge if a charge is projected into magnetic field with a velocity v making an angle suppose theta this is the positive charge which is moving in this direction with certain velocity b is the magnetic field if this is the case then charge is positive then we have the force that will experience by this uh, charge particle is given by f is q v cross b this is the cross product of velocity vector and the magnetic field vector so in this particular case the v is like that and b is in this direction so q v cross b using right hand rule so it is downward that is uh, this is uh, j, uh, z axis and this is k cap so this is minus k cap so this is minus k cap or vertically down into the plane of the paper so the force is into the plane of the paper and uh, so if i project a charge in this direction if i have to like this then the force will be in this direction so it will move like that only okay it will move like that uh, <clears throat> if the force is like this the magnetic field has a property that it will uh, circulate the charge so magnetic field cannot uh, increase the kinetic energy of the charge particle but it will only change the direction if the condition is maintained the charge particle is projected like this it will move in a circular path when this, this is the direction so this is the force now after some time this will come down now the this is the direction then this is the force okay q e crop b q e crop b so <clears throat> the force will be always towards the center of circular motion and uh, anyway we are not concerned with what type of uh, path this will follow this will obviously follow a circular path but we are interested in the magnitude of the force so at that instant the force is vertically downward and the magnitude of the force is given by qvv sin theta this is the formula so therefore everything is given q is the charge of the proton proton charge and electronic charge are same so it is 1.6 10 to minus 19 b is 2 10 to 7 b is 1.6 10 to minus 6 into sine of 90 which is 1 because this angle is 90 degree so solving this you will get the answer of the this in newton and it comes out to be <coughs> 5.12 10 to minus 18 newton this is the answer to this question let us take one more question so i hope that you understand that uh, the path will be uh, circular if the magnetic field is uh, always from this side to this side half one figure and the charge is projected like this so what will happen is qv cross b is downward the force is downward and we know that uh, in a in, in case of a circular motion if a particle has to move in a circular path the speed is suppose in this direction suppose it's moving in anti-clockwise sense the force must be always towards the center this force is called centripetal force that you will be studying in 12th standard 
So the this centripetal force is always perpendicular to the velocity vector. So in other words, if force is perpendicular to velocity, the body will move in a circular path. <coughs> so in this situation, this is the direction of velocity and this is the direction of magnetic field. So this is the direction of force. Now this force is perpendicular to velocity. This force is perpendicular to this velocity. And the force is always directed towards the center of the circular motion. Because the force is like this, the center must be somewhere here. If the center is somewhere here and this is the velocity vector, then, uh, then you have to complete a circle like that only. So that it will be center. Just like say, say here. Like this. So the particle has to move in this sense. If it has to move in this sense, so after some time, the particle will dip inside like this in a circular path, like this. But magnetic field is like this only. Magnetic field is not going to change. It is always from this side to this side. Now, from circular path, the direction of this, uh, uh, it comes from this curvature to towards this to tangent. The velocity of is tangent. So here, from here, when it comes down to this point, the tangent will be like that. So this is the velocity vector, but B is always like this, from this side to this side. If B is like that, then if you uh, find the cross product again, so QVB, you can see, you can see that QV and B, it is like that. It is like that means it is this direction. Because this is Q V B. So it is like that. So always this towards the center. Because the center was somewhere here like that towards the center. So again it will be normal so it is towards the center. Always it will be towards the center. And the it will move like that. <coughs> so let us take one more example. Question number eleven. The question is a uh, particle, this is the same type of question, so I will take a uh, different type of question. A conductor of length uh, 25 cm is placed, this is a conductor of length 25 cm is placed parallel to at perpendicular to and at an angle of 30 degree to uniform magnetic field, three conditions. This conductor, the magnetic field in one situation is, magnetic field is same direction as this, this is the direction of magnetic field. In second situation, the magnetic field is perpendicular to this, the length of the conductor. The third situation, the magnetic field is 30 degree with respect to the field, uh, with respect to the conductor. So that means the length and this here parallel, here the length is like this, here the length is like this. This is the length of the conductor. There are three situations here, the angle is theta equals to 0 degree parallel, here the theta is 90 degree. And here the theta is some angle is given in the question is 30 degree. This is theta. So theta is basically the length of the conductor and angle the magnetic field matches with the conductor. So therefore, <coughs> now in this situation, what you are asking is that if the magnetic field has a strength value, 2 Tesla, okay, and <coughs> the length of the conductor is 25 centimeter. So one more thing you require that is of uh, current that is flowing. It says that if one coulomb of charge passes it through it for 5 seconds. 1 coulomb of charge passes for 5 seconds. Find the force experienced in each case. So from these two data, you find the current. The current is charge flowing per second, that is 1 by 5 ampere. Current is 1 by 5 ampere. So force in each of the cases. In the first case, the force is, in the case 1, the force is d i l sin theta here theta is zero the answer is zero because sine zero is zero so you don't have to put any values because this is zero second part of the question is 90 degrees so force will be b i l sin 90 sin 90 is one so you have to write only b i l value b is two i is one by five and l is 25 divided by 100 okay <coughs> so this is 0.1 Newton. In the third case, when 60 degree, the force will be V I L 2 This is the answer to this question. Okay. Thank you.